Scourge Coastman in Brooklyn Heights for Streets Plug. Look, you can see behind me, there is a doorway leading inside the BQE triple cantilever. The city's gonna spend $4 billion to replace this highway behemoth. Some call it a highway to hell. And I'm gonna go inside the belly of this beast to see A, do we need to make these repairs at all? And if we make them, I'm gonna try to find out why we don't toll the hell out of the drivers who use this roadway. As you know, New York City is a car-owning minority city. So drivers should pay their fair share when asking all of us taxpayers to give them a roadway. Commissioner, I do have to ask you one question on camera. So, Streets Blog's perspective on this obviously is why not just tear down the road and not have such an aggressive highway with way too much traffic that's congesting our streets and our, and our city. Why not just tear it down? Right, and I actually read what, what Streets Blog had to say about that. I mean, here's the challenge. For better or for worse, this roadway right now is carrying 153,000 vehicles a day, a lot of trucks, and a lot of that traffic is within the city. And I think there was a hope that, oh, this traffic's all heading up to Westchester or parts north. A lot of it isn't. And a lot of the trucks are delivering food, furniture, goods, you name it, here in Brooklyn and Queens. So look, believe me, a part of me would love to say I wish we could do without this roadway, but I just think from what we've seen, even when you see the smallest of delays and crashes on this roadway, the backups can be pretty catastrophic. Yeah, we want to do the avail outside. So okay. Right, right. But, but, but I, look, I think, I, <laughs> um, you know, so I, I think understanding completely the desire to see a city someday that has far fewer vehicles and doesn't need a massive highway like the BQE, I, I don't think that's where the city is right now. And, you know, we're trying to balance, you know, understandably the big concerns about rehabilitating, repairing, replacing this road with what if we don't and what kind of traffic and economic impact does it have, not just on Brooklyn, but to some degree spilling over into Staten Island, up into Queens, somewhat citywide. Well, very large tolls, though, could also relieve some of that congestion. No question. That's, again, not my department here. That, that obviously that involves way. state players. Um, I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm sort of working with the hand I'm dealt at the moment. Well, that's all from inside the belly of the belly of the beast. Obviously, the TV reporters and the radio reporters want to know about the repairs. I wanted to know about tearing down this behemoth. And I'm Gersh Kuntzman of Streets Blog.